Legislators today tackling a resolution to adopt the latest fiscal strategy report and medium-term debt management strategy report tabled in the House of Assembly last Wednesday. In leading off today's debate, the Prime Minister and Minister of Finance also announced changes relating to the two documents. Fern Carey has the story. The nation's chief, Prime Minister, the Honorable Philip Davis, announcing a change in the tabling of the fiscal strategy report and the medium-term debt management strategy during House of Assembly proceedings Monday. Both documents are a pivotal part of the government's fiscal agenda moving forward. The Minister of Finance used the opportunity to explain why the move is necessary. As during last year's budget debate, members opposite expressed surprise that the numbers in the budget which undergo a much more vigorous process were different from those expressed in the fiscal strategy report. This is despite their understanding that these documents go through two distinct processes at different times. This misunderstanding, whether feigned or real, is a major reason why this year's debate will be the last debate of the fiscal strategy report and the medium term debt management strategy as a standalone as standalone documents debated in isolation the political mischief making that accompanies these debates does cause real reputational and economic harm to our country Prime Minister Davis also revealed in Parliament that as a result of enhanced collection measures, revenue for this fiscal year is estimated at $2.8 billion. Initiatives are also in the pipeline to boost government revenue while getting those who owe to pay up. This includes the reversal of several policies implemented by the previous administration which favored a number of special interests. As previously announced, we have reconstituted and strengthened the Revenue Enhancement Unit which had been disbanded. They are already increasing the number of back audits undertaken to ensure proper compliance with the law. We are also re-establishing the Revenue Policy Committee, a cross-governmental committee designed to eliminate leakage and identify areas for enhanced collections. Another revenue measure is value-added tax collected on domestic vacation rental properties during the second half of 2022-2023 fiscal year. Government's targeted tax area collection program for VAT, real property tax, and business license fees will be strengthened through the Revenue Enhancement Unit to increase collection of revenue arrears. Additionally, we are phasing in VAT e invoicing to simplify, to simplify and reduce arrears in the VAT billing and remittance process. The number of post clearance audits by the customs departments will also be increased. We anticipate improved revenue from real property tax as a result of the recently completed reassessment of property values in the Providence and expansion of the real property tax rule to include properties with unidentified owners. In three weeks, a mid-year review will also be tabled, providing an assessment of government's performance in executing its plans in the Fiscal Strategy Report and 2022-2023 Annual Budget Document. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Fern Carey.